Welcome to a special edition of That's What I Call Gaming. We noticed a post in the ZX Spectrum group on Facebook by a Dougie MCG. Uh, he posted that his class of year six pupils, that's uh, 10 year olds for those over the pond, had been working hard to code games for the ZX Spectrum using the AGD, um, that's the arcade game designer, as made by the rather talented Jonathan Caldwell. Um, he explained that the children had learned loads about basic coding and debugging and had also tried their hands at animation and level design. And he asked if the community would give the game to go, so I said, oh yeah, definitely. Before we delve in and have a look at the games, if you want to try them yourself, you can go to itch.io. The link is in the description of the video and try them all out yourself. So imagine the joy on a child's face when they get told by their teacher that their game has been downloaded so many times. It's really wholesome and could be the making of some hot coders in the future. I'll also post a link to the arcade game designer, so if you are interested in trying your own um, games, you can give that a go as well. To play the games, you can either do this online by using something called Toronac, um, and you just drag and drop the files uh, into the emulator, or if you have an emulator of your own, like Specky MU or something like that, um, yeah, it'll work on there as well. Um, they are .tap files, um, so I find it a lot easier to use the Spectrum 128 uh, because you just have easy access to the tape loader. Right, so the games then. Uh, there are 10 of them and they all follow a very similar theme and they mainly go from left to right and you have to avoid various different obstacles whilst collecting items. Um, some of the games have keys that to collect uh, to open doors to let you out the levels. Um, there is a lot of imagination on show here. It reminds me quite a lot of certain other classic Spectrum games like Jet Set Willy and Manic Miner and there is some genuinely good sprite work going on. Um, the games also run really smoothly and you can tell that some of these kids have really mastered the art of pinpoint accurate hitboxes at such a young age. Um, I was genuinely impressed with it. I had a quick look at the advanced arcade game designer myself because I thought, well, let's see how they actually made these games. Um, it does use like a basic script language, um, don't ask me what one, um, but if you wanted to give it a go yourself, um, thinking, you know, oh, this is all very rudimentary, I, I advise you to go and download it and try. Um, it's it's pretty, you know, pretty impressive that some you know, 10 year olds have managed to make fully working games. It's not an easy thing to do as well, so they should be very proud of what they've achieved. Um, yeah, overall, this is the sort of thing I wish when I was at school our teachers were doing. So it's a big shout out to Dougie, and you are doing sterling work, sir. And that is the video. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, do like and subscribe to all them things, you know, all the good stuff. And we will see you next time for another video. Thank you. Bye-bye.